Last week marked the one-year anniversary of George Floyd's death and the calls for police reform nationwide. Those calls echoed in cities big and small here in Michigan. But in Lansing, lawmakers have yet to take action. Tonight, 7 investigator Ross Jones is digging into how one Michigan law helps keep police misconduct records hidden from public view and the battle to change it. The calls for change in our state started more than a year ago on the streets of Detroit, then spreading to Lansing and Grand Rapids and all throughout Michigan. Many police departments have done a poor job of policing themselves. But more than a year later, we're exactly where we started with a slew of proposed police reforms in our state going nowhere. This is the story of a simple one, trying to bring records of police misconduct into the sunlight. Derek Chauvin was not an anomaly. Almost every major department has one or two guys, but they create just bad relationships with the rest of the community. Before he was a state representative, Tyrone Carter was a police officer. He spent more than 25 years as a Wayne County Sheriff's deputy, and not long after he was elected in Lansing, Carter introduced legislation making it easier for the public to view records of police discipline. You have too many officers with checkered disciplinary records being leaders or field training officers training other officers to do it. And that ends up with, with lawsuits and taxpayers are tired of paying. Michigan law as it's written today allows some departments to keep records about misconduct shielded from public view. Agencies have used exemptions for personnel records as permission to deny requests for even sustained disciplinary records. Carter wants to change that. If the investigation substantiates that, then why shouldn't the public know? I mean, we know when they're bad attorneys, right? There's the Attorney Grievance Commission. Why are police records of misconduct held in, in such a dark corner? We can't do that anymore. And yet, some of Michigan's largest police agencies routinely do. And to prove it, we did a recent test. Through the Freedom of Information Act, we asked the Oakland County Sheriff's Office for all disciplined employees for this calendar year. Denied. We asked the Wayne County Sheriff for all employees disciplined at least five times. Denied. And of the Macomb County Sheriff, we asked for records for their most disciplined deputy, denied. I think that police departments, by and large, go out of their way to try to withhold as much information as they legally can. It's not just Channel 7 that runs into these brick walls. Kyle Kaminsky is the managing editor of the Lansing City Pulse. After video surfaced in 2019 of an officer there punching a handcuffed teen in the leg, Kaminsky requested all of the department's disciplinary records dating back three years and was met with a denial. Not a single record would be turned over to us. If the cops didn't have anything to hide, then they should also be supportive of this free flow of information and how the system works. If departments are disciplining their own officers, shouldn't the public get to know as much about that as they want to? <sighs> it depends on what the discipline is. We wanted to talk to the Police Officers Association of Michigan about whether it would support the bill, but its president declined an interview. So to get an officer's perspective, we spoke with retired DPD Assistant Chief Steve Doland. If it's use of force, it's excessive use of force, I don't have a problem with it because they should be fired anyway. But if someone just files complaints against me for demeanor or whatever, I have an issue with that. Representative Carter's legislation would only apply to sustained allegations of misconduct, even though he thinks the public deserves to see unsubstantiated allegations too. But he's willing to make compromises, he says, to get something passed. And yet... Is anybody fighting you on this? It hasn't gotten a hearing yet. 100 days since Carter's bill was introduced, it stalled in Representative Mike Mueller's Government Operations Committee, with no sign it'll ever leave. The Republican lawmaker declined our request for an interview about the bill. Before he took office, Representative Mueller was a sheriff's deputy. Lessons not learned will repeat themselves. We've watched this over and over, and we've done nothing about it. Not every police agency tried to shield those disciplinary records that we requested. Both Michigan State Police and Detroit Police agreed to turn them over. We're in Detroit tonight. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. Ross, thank you.